I'm a jingle dress dancer. I um, wore my regalia to support um, all those children who lost their lives because it's a really sad time and that's what this healing dress is for and it's for community. Residential schools have been happening for a very long time. This is a, a continued genocide. Continued. A continued genocide. Uh, you know, because because uh, the 215 pe the children, that's only the beginning. If you go across the country and in all the residential schools and you do an investigation and, and, and use the technology to search, you will find a lot more. My mother, yes. She was in residential school, yeah, in Portage. She would not talk about it. And she didn't even want the money that they were going to give her because she says the money is not going to fix the problem of what happened. My grandmother, Winnie, she was part of residential school and that's why she lost her language as well as my aunt, Vivian Recolay. She um, was part of residential school. She still has the Anishinaabe language, that Ojibwe language. But um, she was really abused and it's really hard to walk by a church or go into a church because it's very traumatizing to have to face that again and see those nuns and priests. Um, my my great-great-grandma was taken off the res to be in residential school and then she was part of the 60s scoop. So it's really, um, it's really sad and devastating. The treatment of children in Indian residential schools is a sad chapter in our history. Two primary objectives of the residential school system were to remove and isolate children and to assimilate them into the dominant culture. All she said to me was to be good and to listen. And she never said any more. I don't think they could even fathom what would happen. They built these schools away from the reserve and run by the churches. No one was allowed to touch each other or to talk to each other. 99, that's you. You will learn to speak God's language. the steps coming towards the girls in for I was the only one in there and then I couldn't breathe I don't know what kind of God they have when I hear people that firmly believe that nothing happened in the schools well I can tell my story Yeah, first I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Simeon Oshai. Double honors to the Apostle El's great millstone that rule well. Salutations to the Archim, to words, suit, and truth. And uh, blessings to the elect. And the one third of Israelites scattered worldwide who are predestined to be saved. And today's lesson is on, um, is, is basically on the tribe of Gad, who are called today by their slave names, um, Native Americans or, uh, or First Nation people in Canada, etc. And I'm doing it because of the clip that you just saw, you know, about the kids and um, the bones being discovered in the residential school, uh, over 200 kids, etc. Um, and that's, it sounds bad, but that's old news, man. Same with uh, Black Wall Street, Tol Tulsa, Oklahoma. All right, that's old news as well, you know. And when they talked about uh, Tulsa, they didn't, uh, you know, they they didn't um, uh, include that, you know, that was uh, something that happened so long ago and it was well known, but people in that own town where it happened, Tulsa, Oklahoma, didn't know about that. Uh, massacre because that's what it was all right 
but all of these things are scriptural and prophetic all right so we're just going to get into the scriptures you saw the clip of um the bones and you have to understand that look when the lord gave um uh what's it called you see it in the bible where i think it's in deuteronomy where god gave the blessings man he gave gad the biggest land Because it, um, when you go to Second Ezra 13 and 40, tells you how the Northern Kingdom and Native Americans and so-called Hispanics, you know, like Mexicans, Guatemalans, so forth, are from the Northern Kingdom. All right, and they were removed. We're going to get in, in, into that anyway. They were removed um, from the nation of Israel after King Solomon died, man. You know, because of the same way we, why the Southern Kingdom. Which I belong to was removed from Israel as well because of a disobedience to God's law. All right, so all these things that are happening to us, it's not, you know, because uh, yeah, some people hate us and all this stuff. It's not because of that. It's because of God, man. All right, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He's chastising us, man. All right. All right. This is Daniel nine eleven, and that includes you Gadites, man. All right. Uh, 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 you know, Lakota, uh, 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 Apache, all of these names are just by names. You're, you're Israelites from the tribe of Gad, and you've done wrong like how we've done wrong, all right? And any, and any one of them that like, that likes to say, especially the ones that are not in this truth, which we don't care about, like to say, oh, how dare you, uh, 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 you're, you're, um, uh, uh, you ain't one of us. You can't say this and that. See, those people that are not in the truth, they're blind to this truth. God has blinded them from receiving the truth. All right? This is for those that are in the truth. Okay? We don't care about you Israelites that want to keep walking around in circles, man. Like we did when we were in the wilderness. Daniel 9 and 11. All right? Yea, all Israel. All right? And during the tribe of Gad. Have transgressed thy law even by departing. Alright. That they might obey thy voice. So because you don't see the heavenly father. You think that you can just. Um, you know. Disobey him. You know. That's the test you idiots. And 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 and, and, I, and I was an idiot. You know. Because look what it says. It says yea all Israel transgressed the law. Even by departing. That they, not might, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because we have sinned against him. So when you go to Deuteronomy 28, it tells you all the, um, the punishment for us not keeping the commandments. All right. And one of these people like to say, oh, well, uh, 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 how can the Latinos and Native Americans be Israelites? They didn't go into slavery and ships, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's not true. All right, I like the Bible says in Luke, "What's in the dark shall come to light." Man, okay. Now, I think I've got it here. No, no, not this one. All right. For in the 1600s, all right, to the 1700s, all right, they've tried to keep it quiet, but the tribe of Gad was going into slavery and ships as well, but. But they were dying off in record numbers. And this is a book by uh, Alan, Alan Galley. The Indian Slave Trade. Alright. The rise. I think it says here. The rise of the English Empire. Alright. In the American South. So it was from 1670. Alright. To 1717. You know. And what they were doing, they were taking uh, uh, so-called uh, Native Americans, the Gadites, 
all right and put them on boats and they'll send them to France to England to the Caribbean where they had plantations there you know that's why some people over there in the Caribbean you know yeah you've had Elamites who are what you Americans call East Indians or in England we call them Indians or Asians yeah you know have gone you know went over there but you have to understand that um, the Americas was populated by the Northern Kingdom already you know so when they were taking us down they put them into slavery and ships and shipped them uh, uh, all around the world but it was only like for what 47 years you know but they've tried to hide this but like the Lord said was the dark shall come to light and you got a book on it all right and it's and, and it got a prestigious award even um, universities in America are now teaching this all right so you have to understand uh, 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 why we're in this mess number one and you have to understand that there's a deep connection with uh, so-called African Americans and Hispanics and um, I've said this before uh, when I was in re recently a few years ago in hospital a Filipino nurse came up to me and she she said her grandfather's Mexican because the tribe of Issachar, who are the Mexicans, the Spanish put them on boats and sent them to the Philippines, man. All right, as slaves. And this is our punishment, all right? All right, for not keeping God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Okay? Now, if you go to Second Kings, all right? Second Kings 17 and 20, all right? It shows you we were 12 tribes in the beginning, you know? But we had a split in the kingdom, um, you know, and our, after King Solomon died, our people fighting as usual. So you had the northern kingdom, Hispanics, Native Americans, the nine tribes, and the southern kingdom, uh, uh, you uh, uh, African Americans, West Indians, uh, uh, you Israelites that were in Nigeria, Ghana, Sierra Leone, Senegal, Cong Congo, uh, Haiti, you know. So there was a split. All right, and this is about that split, and Second Kings seventeen and twenty, and the Lord rejected all the seed of Israel and afflicted them, and delivered them into the hand of spoilers, and a spoiler is someone that takes what you have, until he had cast them out of his sight. And how did he cast the northern kingdom out of his sight? He got another nation, the Assyrians, to take them out of their own land, because they weren't keeping God's commandments; they were worshiping other gods. All right, and the majority of our people, whether it be so called African Americans or so called uh, Native Americans, they're still doing the same wickedness today, man. Okay, you know, same with us when we didn't know that we were Israelites, man. Okay, all right, uh, verse 21 For he rent Israel from the house of David, and he and they made Jeroboam the son of. Of Nebat the king and Jeroboam drove Israel from the following of the Lord and made them sin a great sin. Yeah, because he was the leader at the time and he was worshipping other gods. So if your leader is doing that, then that, that gives consent for the other people in your nation to do the same. It's not a very good example, man. Okay. For the children of Israel walked in all the sins of Jeroboam. See, worshipping other gods, which he did, they departed not from them. Okay? And what was the result of this? Alright, verse 23. Until the Lord removed Israel out of his sight, as he said by all his servants, the prophets, so was Israel carried away out of their own land to Assyria unto this day. Alright? So where you have the Iraq... That kind of area in Syria, you know, that Middle Eastern area. All right, the Northern Kingdom was so wicked that the Lord said, "Right, I'm going to put it in the minds of another empire to grab them and take them out of the land." And this is brought up, this is way before um, Yahusha was even born. So we were split, you know. So th that's the reason why we only have um, when the Messiah was on the scene. There's only three tribes in the nation of Israel. Benjamin, Judah, and Levi in, in our actual homeland, you know? The other nine tribes were already scattered, you know? And now we're scattered, man, okay? 
All right. Uh, let's see. This is um, uh, second Ezra's thirteen and forty. All right. Those are the ten tribes carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea the king, whom Shalassar the king of Syria led captive. He carried them over the wars, so they came into into another land. Okay. So when you go second Ezra thirteen and forty. All right, this t tells you about how Gadites and the other northern kingdom got from where we have today Syria and so forth. All right, all right, through the Euphrates River around the Horn of Africa, up into a land never where mankind dwelt, which is the Americas. All right, so all this rubbish that that this this liar is saying. They came through the Barren Straits and they're, Chi you know, they're Chinese and all that. You know, see, this debt, he's, this man cannot tell the truth, man. See, that's why we have the truth, which is the scriptures, man. And we, ha we know it by faith and we can back it up. So this, these videos are to back up uh, our faith, really. All right. Because this gives us all the answers, man. Oh, you, they can't be like us. They, they, they look nothing like us. Well, we've been estranged for about, what, uh, 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 4,000 years. You idiot, man. You know? People that don't know nothing about this thing, they come up and they challenge you, especially our people, man. You know? So you have to understand that um, a lot, all that happened to Gad and what's happened now with, with, with those residential schools it's all basically because of sins, man. And what sins are we talking about? What is sin? First John 3 and 4. A transgression of the law. Okay? What is uh, uh, the sins that Gad and the Northern Kingdom and, uh, you know, have been doing? Uh, uh, oh, taking peyote. Alright? Yeah, man. I'm from England, but I know about that. I know about my people. Peyote, uh, 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 ghost dances. You know, uh, uh, having long hair. You know, when you look at all the pictures of, you know, when uh, 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 our people were conquered. And another f trick that they loved to used to do. All right. Especially in the times where they were conquering our people was they used to make them look like savages because the word the word indian actually means savage so you should never call yourself an indian man that's what the word indian means it literally means savage that's what it means it literally means that all right so when they were taking our people down look native americans if i put in indians if i put in that book again the indian slave trade let's see indian indian slave trade you know if i put if i put that in there here's the book cover all right uh click on it all right the one trick that they used to do all right uh uh, uh is propaganda lies basically yeah and when you look and when you look at um this is not a good example. I'm see. Let's try and go into it a bit more. When you look at some of these pictures, man. I mean, look. I mean, look at these pictures. Look, bum showing. You know, look, look, bum showing. You know, just, just naked, running around the place. You know, and not all of our people were like that, man. And what they used to do is when they used to conquer territories where Gad was, they would strip the men down to, you know their um, pants or whatever sh take the women tell the women to take their tops off and they'll take pictures of them man so and then they'll put it in the papers and say look 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 at these savages you know we are uh, uh, we're, we're doing them a favor they did the same thing with our people that they took from west africa all right and from europe because 
as I said, we were ruling Europe before slavery, man. And we had wars. And when we lost those wars, they deported us to the colonies as slaves. All right. So that's another trick that the enemy did. Because once someone thinks that you're a savage, then they, they start um, thinking in your head, well, you know what? What we're doing to these people, we're doing it for themselves. We're saving them for themselves. Do you understand? So those sins need to be put to bed. And those sins cost our people dearly, man. But it was prophesied. All right. If you go to uh, see now Genesis, when Jacob said, uh, you know, to his sons, what's going to happen to them? Uh, let's see now. Genesis chapter 49. That's it. You know, because Gad, they were, they're great warriors, man. All right. They were part of uh, the, you know, the house of David, man. They were excellent warriors, man. All right, now Genesis 49 and 19. This is what will happen to them in the last days. See, that's more proof that we're in the last days, man. All right, because Jacob said, this is what's going to happen to you in the last days. And he's, he, he said to his son, Gad, he said, Gad, a troop shall overcome him. All right, but he shall overcome at the last. And who was that troop? The U.S. Calvary, man. I don't know how you've done all these years. Seeing all the things you've seen, doing all the things you've done, makes you feel inhuman after a while. Captain, you do know Chief Yellow Hawk. The Army wants to be certain that the Chief gets home to Montana safely without incident. I don't have any idea what he's done. He's a butcher. And the two of you ought to get along just fine. I've killed savages, because that's my job. You have no idea what war it does to a man. I hate him. I got a war bag of reasons to hate him. This will be done, and it will be done by you. Parade's over. Put them in chains. You believe in the Lord, Joseph? Yes, I do. But he's been blind to what's going on out here for a long time. Understand this. When we lay our heads down out here, we're all prisoners. You just gotta take your dues. We both know it could just as easily be you sitting here in these chains. Sometimes I envy the finality of death, the certainty. And I have to drive those thoughts away when I'm weak. Something tells me you ain't got the nerve to fire that woman. <laughs> 